everyone. Welcome to another video from Zero Booking Collectibles. And as always, this is your friendly neighborhood collector, Sum. And today we're going to try to do a video tour, a uh, video tour 2.0. So let's start. We're going to go left to right, down, right to left, and then down, left to right again. So let's start. This is going to be a prequel um, cab for Star Wars. So first up. Up at the back, it's a sideshow Grievous. Um, it is showing some signs of aging. <laughs> the different um, plastics are turning yellow. So yeah, and even the joints are getting soft. So it's kind of scary to articulate them, but yeah. But maybe with proper care, it's gonna last. And I do have him standing on his stand, so yeah. At the back is some uh, battle droids, so Roger Roger over there. And then uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yes, from the prequel trilogy. I do hope we get the Kenobi series ASAP because that Mandalorian uh, ending was mm, also great. And um, next is Anakin Skywalker. Uh, he is holding two sabers. One is for Dooku. Uh, in my humble opinion, this is one of the best head sculpts for non-aged people from Star Wars coming from Hot Toys. Next is Count Dooku, um, Count Dracula himself. I have not reposed him, so he's still having his voila pose. So yeah. <laughs> so yep, that's about it for that. Then next is uh, our New Hope. New Hope. Uh, yeah, at the back we have a Sand Trooper. Um, my very first hot toy, I believe. Oh no, this one is my first hot toy. Oh no, Boba Fett is. So, so sorry for the mix up. But um, the Storm Troop, uh, Storm Trooper is one of my first, so yeah. And then next is, you can see um, Luke with the Blast Shield on. It's training Luke. And another Obi-Wan from A New Hope. One of my favorite figures. Next is Han Solo. I changed his uh, pose. He was looking to the left, now he's looking to the right. The hands are still <laughs> not gun holding hands because I'm lazy. Then next is um, Chewbacca. Uh, I haven't had the time to take his bowcaster out yet, so yeah. His hair is a bit matted over there, so... Hmm, that's screen accurate, right? Next is um, Farm Boy Luke with that distant look in his eye, looking at that twin sons. Head on, uh, foot on the blast shield because I don't have a rock, so... <laughs> yeah, next is um, Princess Leia with the twin buns. Alright. Then, off to the next side is our empire so it's a bit bare because i'm making room for other figures and i moved the stormtroopers to another um section of the cabinet so yep first off we have one of my favorites also um yoda very good sculpt very good uh hair over there so yeah rooted hair for uh not so baby Yoda. Next is uh, Hoth Leia. I like this face sculpt. Yep, so it's, mm, it's not yellowing yet because uh, the place I have here is not in direct sunlight. So, thanks for that. Next is Cloud City Leia. A very simple but quite elegant figure so yep and one of this is the the true sorry for all overlapping my sentences this is my very first hot toy Boba Fett Boba Fett from uh, uh, Return of the Jedi yeah so I'm meaning to get the Empire Boba so if anyone wants to sell theirs please do contact me 
And next is, I think, the very first hot toy um, that is Star Wars. The X7 Luke Skywalker. It's a two-pack, the Battle Damage version that looks like Justin Bieber. And this this young guy right here, Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker. So yeah, I do believe this face sculpt still holds up. But this, mm, 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 it still holds up, right? It's just a joke that he looks like Justin Bieber. <laughs> so yeah, must dread in the opening box okay next to the right is return to the jedi um portion of the cabinet so we have at the back emperor sheev palpatine looking also menacing with the chair over there the chair to me is a character of its own so I have it posed there, <laughs> if you call that posed. And at the back is Anakin, Darth Vader, um, Sideshow one. I like this because it has the Anakin head. And the control boxes do light up. I don't have batteries on them right now. So sorry for that. And this guy right here next is, if you haven't seen The Mandalorian yet, so sorry for spoilers. This guy is skyrocketed. The price is frame went for like from $180 to $500 overnight. So uh, please wait for the issue. Do not get the $500 figures. So yeah, this is the original one with the fat suit. You can see. The next is the DX look, deluxe look, the Endor one. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can see he's saying yeah. Then next over here is Wicket, yeah, Pudgy Boy. I I like this figure because uh, as a kid I really like I really liked um, Ewok. So yeah. Then um, Enter Leia without the poncho. I like this better without the poncho. So you can see the details, yeah. There, uh, there is the helmet. Then going down, this is um, one of my favorites right now because I'm trying to make a Vader's fist kind of uh, vibe. So I have some stormtroopers over here. Some are from uh, A New Hope, and most of them are from Rogue One. So I'm looking into getting uh, red capes for all of them. So yeah, if you know that that uh, artwork where the stormtroopers are running up a mound and they're gonna try to stick the Vader's fist um, flag so yeah maybe next time I'll be able to show you Vader's fist with all the capes so yeah this is also a sideshow Vader with the helmet on um, the base is also big it also lights up but I don't have the batteries in them right now this too, the exposed uh, view for uh, Vader's helmet also lights up. Lights up. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'm just tired. <laughs> I just need to catch my breath. So yeah, just look at those stormtroopers. So next is the Rogue One cabinet. So I call this the Rogue One because Tarkin was also in Rogue One, so that's passable, right? The back is a specialist death trooper, one of the best troopers in my humble opinion. And uh, he is holding uh, Jin Ursus doll. Then short trooper, short trooper. Um, some thoughts on this guy? I think there is going to be uh, a new release because of the Mandalorian. I don't think it's, it, it won't have um, the blues so they're uh, speculating that it's gonna be called the grunt but yeah it's gonna be nice if we can get another one but I don't think that this one's price will dwindle because it's gonna be a different version so yeah so yeah uh, sometimes to appreciate Tarkin's head sculpt as I said 
uh, hot toys when it comes to old people they can really hit a home run so yeah props to that and K2SO this dude is rare too I got him on sale so uh, <laughs> lucky me right before he went rare then uh, the deluxe Jin Erso so one of my favorite female characters in Star Wars so yeah very nice head sculpt also she is holding the, the star plan, plans the stardust and then next is Chert Imwe that blank stare on his face because he's blind and fun fact um, the actor he was the one who uh, suggested to make Chirrut blind so good call on that thank you very good uh, very good portrayal then next is our sequel cabinet yeah mm, the back it's a first order um tie pilot uh ordinary stormtrooper captain phasma uh, a scout first order trooper then at the right you can see that's Finn so yeah that's Finn over there <laughs> if you can see him then next is Luke Skywalker his final appearance in the sequel trilogy his final fight appearance the next is TR-8R uh, the one with the baton so next is Rey her first appearance um, with the staff I'm a bit disappointed that they didn't make Rey a dual wielder so meh wishful thinking right BB-8 uh, then um, Last Jedi Ray. Yep, with the poster pose over here. And some pogs. I love them pogs. Then um, Kylo from Last Jedi. So, yeah, very nice. Then I have this. Um, I don't know what to call this section of the cabinet, but yeah, I have Luke here with R2-D2 in the final um, scene from uh, Mandalorian, so yeah. All I need is a Grogu, right? Baby Grogu! Are you a Jedi? Yes, I am a Jedi. So yeah, close up of Mark Hamill. R2-D2. This R2-D2 is not really a sideshow or a hot toy. He is uh, a Sphero. So if you, you can turn, up, turn him on and then play with him. All the different sounds and there's also a camera inside so that's great fun. And at the back is Darth Maul from Solo. A very good uh, head sculpt. You can move his eyes. Not the purrs but it does the job. You can see the feet, the legs. The legs are very intricate, so I like this. I like this design. Then the original Darth Maul from Phantom Menace, a younger Ray Park. So yeah. Personally, I like this head on this body. So maybe I'll show it to you later. Going down. Um, getting out of Star Wars for a bit is our 80s 90s um, section of the display so first at the back is the DX8 Joker so yeah Jack and then oh no this is DX9 yeah and this is DX8 Maybe I'm wrong, but <laughs> this is um, Batman in his organic look. You can see his sculpt is very nice, and so is this. 
Some scary, right? Then we have a third party Catwoman. I forgot the brand. I got this from a bulk deal. I think the face sculpt is um, a copy from a sideshow, a statue. So yeah, that dude right there at the back is a hot toy, a Bruce Wayne. He has a broken foot, so <laughs> it fell, it broke the foot, and he's been leaning at the back to support his weight. So yeah, next is the Mime Joker. Still has those yellow stains. Apologies, maybe if I have time, I'll wash that. So yeah, and next is John McClain. John McClain is a kit bash that I made. So forgive me if the paint applications are not that good. I did my best, but, and I had fun. So yeah, yippee ki -yay, mother lovers. The next is uh, Robocop. Diecast version. One of my favorites, one of my heroes. So yeah, to serve and protect. Look at that. Very nice, right? Look at this John McLean too. Nice. Then um the X10 Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, looking badass. Holding up, huh? there's no flaking. No, very nice. So this guy is doing its job. So have him holding his machine gun and um, the bullets I did not put there because I'm fearing that these might crack. So yeah, moving to our next cabinet. Uh, yeah, if you've seen the first tour, I haven't really moved anything from here. Except for Neo and Jack Sparrow, I put his pistol up. So yeah, so that's Neo over here. With a new pose. Still with a lot of guns, badass. So we have Mad Max over there, a third party one. Get Bash Logan with a need on body. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Stanley ending credits. 3A, um, Duck Feet. Dr. Doom, <laughs> supposed to be a partner for this guy right here. Hot Toys, Dr. Strange. And if you can see, there's a Negan head over there. <laughs> Creepy. Then, um, Hot Toys Thor from uh, Infinite War. Very nice head sculpt also. Then, a Life Size Groot. One of my favorites, a Ravager Groot. And then we have uh, Jack Sparrow, so you have to call him Captain Jack Sparrow, so yeah. Very nice face coat. Okay, moving into the last 1-6 scale part of this video is the Spider-Man cabinet. At the back, it's the Iron Spider. I've had him post like this since I got him, so he's just vanilla all the way. And then <laughs> next is um, home suit Spider Man. Uh, I, I thought of posing him a bit, so yeah. And then Sentinel um, Iron Spider. Same as this Spider Man over here. I've had him pose like that for fear of creases. So yeah, and then next is um, a 3A Spider-Man with Peter Parker, Spider-Bot with Peter Parker. Then um, tech suit, um, Tom Holland head sculpt from Homecoming. So yeah, my very first um, Hot Toy Spider-Man, so yeah, nice. Then... The Mark 47 I reviewed a while ago. Okay, then a spider bracelet, if you know. And then Leo Pardon over here. Very nice with Stan Lee at his side, holding his shoulder, so that's very nice. And the Emissary of Hell, Spider-Man. Yeah. So that's about it for the six scale figures. And for bonus content, 
Uh, I have Star Wars things over here too. Well, play as Sky Darth Vader, Darth Maul, Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, and some Black Series figures. So yeah. Hmm, I will be moving these when I have the extra cabinet uh, in the future. So yeah. Next is, if you want to look, and if you're a fan of Metal Gear, I have some figures over here. So let's open this cabinet. Yeah. Then, let's start from the back. So that's uh, Play Art Sky Meryl. Um, Solid Snake, he's super rare right now. Um, Liquid Snake. And two Cyber Ninjas, I think they're rare too right now. Raiden, I think this is Big Boss. Revolver Ocelot, um, Venom Snake, Venom Snake again in Sneaking Suit, Venom Snake again, then this is Solid Snake, Raven, um, Quiet, one of the rares also, this is Big Boss I think, um, Psycho Mantis, Meryl again, Liquid, these are from McFarlane. Um, Solid Snake, Revolver, Ocelot, Cyborg Ninja, and a Kotobukiya Sniper Wolf. Yeah, and a small baby wolf over there. Another Sniper Wolf from McFarlane. Figma Solid Snake from MGS2. Nandroid Solid Snake. Big Boss. Oh no, this is Venom Snake. Sorry. Raiden and Big Boss. This is the D Dog, yeah. And then head sculpts for Play Art Sky Cyborg Ninja. So that's about it for displayed figures. Ah, I'm pooped. So next time I'll try to display some of my 112 scale figures. If I have find the space so yeah thank you for uh, watching if you like the video please like and subscribe and comment so yeah so it really helps the uh, channel a lot so yep yeah, please do that and uh, keep safe eat your veggies and peace all right see ya guys later oh yeah I have some other stuff here too so black series some neck over here some minifigs of Star Wars so yeah in the future I'll be putting them in a place that they deserve so this ray over there so Mograna and if you're into Monster Hunter I think yeah you know these guys um that's what is this again the defenders <laughs> forgot her name oh my god uh this is um canada's bike and that's canada over there and lumpy space princess so yeah these are the things that i have displayed thanks for watching take care guys later